That must be a marker or something. And here we go. We are live with round one of Operation Rising Giant. Logi runs, man. So it's only one truck at a time. But it's a truck. So that's 3,000 points of supplies or ammo that they can bring over. Um, with the changes that have happened to, uh, with the changes that have happened in the game, all of the, uh, what's this, all the Logis, uh, players can rearm off those. Also, ammo bags, stuff like that. And looks like deploy point for some infantry here. Right at the bend in uh, Charlie 11 6. And there's the third. Looks like that Lodge is going to deploy over here, too. And it looks like we're going to have some river crossings here. Yep. Pony squad goes across first. Imagine wearing socks. Now's the time to pee, guys. Rinses out your boots. What? I would like to try to get us in our line formation if we can. It's like actually not the time. Anyway, uh, forces here are going to be maneuvering to get themselves into a line. And looks like we do have infantry for militia pushing out. Also, the Dishka and the SPG are going to move over here to Kilo 9 2. Hold these rocks until Bravo One, gets over, you, as well as uh, SL. Fire team south of the road, so that in case we run into uh, contact in the Echo 13 area, you can support us across the river from the higher higher ground. We're gonna go ahead and take a look and see how militia are prepared um, for this round one, and yeah, there's a whole squad, including the hat. So militia have taken the hat. Sebi's got it. And these guys are going to set up on the hill over here. In the south. They're going to be getting eyes on with the uh, the Russian infantry here soon. Right now, about uh, 700 meters away. And Russia continues continuing to uh, uh, head south here. Uh, militia, this squad may actually set up on these rocks, which wouldn't be unreasonable. If you go any far, much further, you risk being caught out and you have to run away in the open. And that would suck. So, how about not doing that? That sounds like a good plan, right? That seems like what these guys are doing. So if they split the fire teams up, one north here next to the river, to make sure they can watch any uh, northern river approaches. Matter of fact... This squad has uh, moved into the town here. I think this is Desna. And, um... K-9 squad has uh, split up here. Looks like Matical and Imanaz are probably coming over to take a look-see at this hill. Um, whoa, that was weird. Uh, let's take a look at the FOB real quick before we uh, have to start watching for contact. So, Militia have spread themselves out. You can see here, there's about a squad building. It uh, looks like a fire team plus building at the FOB area itself. So you can see all of the sandbags going up, as well as razor wire. The FOB is in this uh, T building right here. All right, all squads on the, on the south flank. With uh, like one the, point of access, so that's good. And then there's also a squad of infantry up here. And they're spread out. Copy looking that. for vehicles along train bridge closer to train bridge you also see um, tinkerbell and snowfall over here contacts on the ridge line in uh i think echo 13 maybe hold on i'm, I'm trying to get an exact fix uh oh pony's actually already spotted yeah okay they're probably g12 g12 i think We're, we've probably been glad 
They've I already mean, spotted uh, Harv's squad here. That, that rock out I think it's like the Harv. I think this is the Harv's first time squad leading. Yeah, G12 won. They have a pretty clean line uh, from there. I could be wrong. I think this is first time squad leading. Squad one, command. Command, Jeff. One, I need you to uh, move up to the uh, the twelve kind of mountain. Ooh, look at Imanaz. Imanaz and Manacle are spread out here, but Imanaz is going to come up over this hill, and if he spots someone, I wonder what he's going to do. Imanaz has pretty good aim. I think he's just scanning pretty quickly here. Does he see Kuba? Or is Sebi moving around? Sebi would be a little bit more of a harder target to pick, but he might have seen Kuba. He might see Kuba just sitting there. Kuba now moving. Get an update on position. Squad 1 has brought the... It's going to move the Lodgy up. Looks like they were security pushing through Desna just to make sure they weren't going to get hit. Militia not moving across the river. And there's a bunch of supplies here. We also get an indication of where Militia's HMGs are going to be. They got one in the back here at Hotel 8, or Hotel 11 8. Um, looks like they've only deployed one HMG. So, um. Ooh, Nuclear Potato took a shot at Imanaz. F-1375, hostile contacts, F-1375. Copy that. Squad 1 adjust, push it off. Great call out by a K-9 there over command net. I need, I need Pretty direct, and even Oz know exactly what was going on. Oh, Russian infantry moving in the open, starting to get some shots here at range. Oh, a rocket goes in and takes out Grunt and Fight Milk. Spacing! Great shot there by Sebi. And now they have to attack uh, up a reverse slope. Heard another rocket go out. Koopa got smacked there from a distance. Thank you. Pony leading from the front. Kind of risky. Militia forces breaking contact here on this hill at the Echo 13-3. And they're going to fall back east. And Pony is just going to drive his fire team right behind him. They're going to try to get this elevation here. You can see some shots landing nearby. Some suppression being used. Also, GL. Guess what? Russian infantry got those. And... Russian infantry taking... Their time getting to the top of the hill here. Uh, militia have fallen back. Their hat is, seems to be running away. Their squad leader also falling back. But it looks like there's a buddy pair up north here and about a fire team down south. Sort of sort of holding position. Just had smoke. Pony's got to be careful. Pony's taking some shots at Osku. Nice shots. A little bit short, but one of them did connect. So Osku takes a bullet and has to bandage. Yep. And there's a call out of a command net that enemies are on the map border, which is, I mean, yeah, you can tell the map border is right here. I just make sure we still got the 360. I don't want anybody sneaking. Okay, we're going to keep walking slowly through in the map border. Copy oh, uh, Militia down. threw a smoke here. One crawling up into the smoke. Can we get a GL up? We're trying to throw a GL out. Pony forgot that Grunt died. Oops. Outlaw doing a pretty good job of suppressing them, suppressing the smoke and making them drive back. But militia able to escape here to the east. Ooh, look at this. Sebi and Kuba are actually holding position here. Mal Russia gonna throw a rocket towards that smoke. That would have been good if they were staying. Squad one, this is command. And Kuba just hanging here. 
Took some, just took some shots at the infantry. And here's some shots to my north. And that's probably because it looks like, uh oh, I think K9 just went down. Uh, the white smoke east of the road, Fox In the north. Eight. Looks like they were shooting on, um... Looks like they're firing across the river and they got pinged, and K9 got pinged. Nope, K9's still up. Where's the one? Oh, it's in the truck, isn't it? I'm dumb. Okay. See, I have those symbols turn on for a reason. <laughs> uh, it's because I'm blind, guys. What's up? Space out, guys. Remember, they've got GLs and they've got uh, eight. Some great advice there. Looks like contacts are now in the G13 moving east. Golf 13 moving east. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Xbit from his position on top of the hill. Golf 13 moving east. Sounds about right. Where the mortar mortars at? It's a good question. Uh, the mortars haven't been placed yet. Um, looks like that might be changing soon. The mortar, they only have enough supplies to put the mortar down once. So what they have to be on top of, they have to know when to deploy the mortar. An expert ordering squad one in the north here. Ooh, someone just got hit in the north here. Ordering squad one in the north here. Let's take a look at these guys' position real quick. Ordering them to um, add suppression to their east. Here's fire team lead, uh, not an NSA spy. Has himself a pretty nice position. Don't get shot. Looks like he got hit. He fired medic. So. That was some pretty specific instruction from an SL there. Four, I want you to follow behind two, and then when two runs into contact, I want you to try to split off in the other direction. Or He's the only one that's firing right now. We're going to go over here to uh, Bartok. Bartok and your nightmare with a rather scottish chap. New rig, by the way. Your nightmare scanning around. He's got himself deployed on the rock. Uh, Bartok with an RPG. Of course he is. He's got himself loaded for frag, but I don't think he can see. And he wants it. He wants an AR. On top of the rocks, 063. You see anyone? Champ is looking. I'm trying. Uh, yep, I see one. Uh, the very top right rock, zero six seven. There's a gentleman behind it. Shoot through with the frag rocket, and you will second hit him. Wait, zero six three. No, zero six seven. Zero six seven. Oh, let's see if he can hit this shot. Can you shoot the tracer rocket? Right, Please, right now. The mortar is placed. Um. Just needs building, so if you guys contact uh, places, to... so okay, higher than that. I can start digging it. Yeah, so that rock. Same is still oh, sitting there. Nope, he's running away now. Clear back plus. No, I think he's back plus clear. Oh, he, he just ran away. The morning shots. The uh, the tracer actually did it in for him. Unfortunate. I turned up volume just a touch. I don't want to turn up too much. Pony still bringing his squad, and they're starting to make a turn from the north here, they're making a turn northeast. And Squad 3 got reinforced. Uh, look at this reinforcement. It's also got a um, uh, SPG, and this is that abandoned sort of... Uh, 
Get it's a abandoned sort of fort place. So the objective here, once again, Russia looking to attack the Soloniki fob. They're going to clear it out. Dishka over here. A shield of Dishka. Ooh, even I was getting lit up. Finds cover. Objective here is Russia going to clear out and hold the militia fob area in Soloniki in Hotel 11-4. They're on their way right now. The SPG's coming over. Ooh, look at Pony. Pony's got a squad rolling straight towards this Dishka. And they also have to go across this little shelf of a hill right here, which is going to be some problems. It's going to be op well, wide open. The problem is they really can't go any other direction. Groot is loaded with AT here. He's got loaded heat, so... And these are the two vehicles that Militia have. They have the uh, Dishka and the SPG. And there's Ronan, the squad lead for this element. Command, if I see contacts, am I able to put one mortar out to uh, hit a contact that my guys can't? Yep. Give me mortars. Golf 1492, just three rounds. Golf 1492. Just spread them out wide, three rounds. And here we go. Russians are going to unveil that their mortars are now a thing to worry about. Of course, they only have 500 ammo, so they kind of sort of have to be careful with their spread. Russia do not get to run logistics for their mortar fob here. So that's 500 ammo and that's it. Some casualties down here in the south it looks like as the Russians, two squads are trying to push through. Uh oh, Bert and got caught out by the Dishka. Lucky, he finds Defilade. He's gonna climb up here to take a shot at the Dishka? That was a low percentage play if I ever heard one. Oof. I think Kuba just got mortared. I don't know, there's some rounds being exchanged over here. There's a rocket that just killed Jack 800. Was that Sebi again? Take a look at that spread, man. It's about 50, 60 meters off the main, um... Oh my gosh. I miss another frag rocket. Doobie Scoo goes down to a frag rocket. Neholes has to heal. Three mortars coming in at 14, whatever. I think they came from over here. Oh, that was an SPG. Gian Palu. Gian, Gian Palu. Great shots with the SPG. Let's see if he's going to fire another round here. Mortars are still a little short. Looks like the correction went the wrong way. Meanwhile, Russians making some serious progress here on this abandoned hill. Lat rocket goes out. And here comes a, it looks like a GL smoke there. Hey, they're moving up to the right. This guy's taking sight at us right now, so you... Nice shot by Groot there. Takes out the SPG techie in one shot. And I think Groot just got killed. No. Yep, and Groot just got killed by return fire along with Nuke, so... Two for one trade, and a vehicle. Music with the good uh, heads up shot there looks like. Unfortunate. Those are nowhere near the target. Those are all... 
Oh, the mortars are short by about 60 meters. Militia gonna go ahead and fall back, knowing that mortars are a thing that are going to happen soon. And... The fortification is now empty. Russians are gonna go ahead and uh, throw some smoke and try to advance. So both Dishka, both the Dishka Techie and the SPG Techie are down. And I gotta say, this uh, the the fence in depth here, the plan for militias working out. Six kills for Russia, eleven kills for Mill, and D Leak just goes down again. Those mortars still short. Freestalker gets hit through his uh, cover here, yeah, or through his concealment. Uh, okay. You almost killed it. Ooh. Well, I apologize, but this is what my calculator is telling me. Just add 100 meters to the, the building. This is Crap it. <laughs> Freestalker dancing on the ground here, trying to heal himself. At least he's uh, no, he's still bleeding. Still, go. That's actually impressive, what's going on right now. <laughs> Stalker is dancing! <laughs> Free Stalker got hit a second time, he's gonna have to bandage again. Who saw the gun over there? Music? Well, Music got some great shots earlier, this time not so much, and uh, Free Stalker... ...finds some more, uh, hill between them. Oh, militia moving? Yeah, they're still trying, but they're sending a buddy team to to uh, secure southeast of uh, the southwest of town. Looks like. That was kind of funny. Uh, let's get a reset of Russian position. They got a squad or fire team plus moving the map border to the south. And, uh, this is the remains of a squad that got caught out by the rockets and the SPG just repeatedly. Uh, Nihol's still up with Gregets. What a name. Uh, they're gonna be moving up here to link up with Pony, looks like. Although Nihol's might be, might be thinking it might be better to push with the element to his south. Yes, come on. Have your southern fire team cross the river and join squad two and, and uh, assist them in their push north. And it looks like K9 is going to send a, the security fire team east across the river. Now, all things being equal here. G1255, uh, near the town. One and a half squads versus one and a half squads. Actually, that's more like two squads. One and a half versus two squads here attacking is going to have to be a pretty special enga uh, engagement there. Let's take a look at the southern uh, squad that's mainly in a defensive posture here. Uh, that's a name. We got Major here. And we have Beef Baby, Ronin. So this is the squad that was running the vehicles who is now no longer running vehicles. Ronin's got Binox out. He's looking around. Peach is a lat. For this squad, he's looking around. More mortars coming out here from Russia. And Alex 5000 is a uh, is an FTL. He's looking around, trying to figure out where to shoot next. Mortars. Um, cause militia here to go into a little bit of a panic. Militia try to find cover. Oh, look at this uh, fortress here, by the way. Of course, the uh, the fob goes in here because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Of course, the fob's not even here. It's in the next village over. All of the uh, all of the supplies that r the militia have been able to grab 
have turned these uh, couple of hamlets here into quite the uh, sandbag town. Oh, man. And, of course, your radio is in here on the bottom floor. Now, there still is a squad to the north. That's on the north. They're overlooking Train Bridge. Those mortars... I guess they suspected enemy contact in the trees. So far, nothing. Uh, Russians getting closer to contact here. Pony Squad is about ready to uh, run past Limbs and Major here. I believe the uh, enemies have decided to locate their fob in the industrial shed in H1144. Um, I request a mortar strike on H. Yeah, actually, yeah. Just dump dump a bunch of mortars in H1144. Good dispersion and everything. Did we kill the techies? Yeah, both techies got killed by group before uh, he died. Okay, yeah. My Russians returning fire here. Looks like an AR found their position. Oh, look at that. It's, uh, there's three guys in this building right here. Don't get shot. Looks like he's trying to shoot through the wall. And there is an HMG fire in this direction as well. Demon Ein, um, putting holes in the side of the fence here, trying to find, don't get shot. Uh, so far, no joy from anyone here, an outlaw. Copy. All right, Free Stalker, we're going to wrap around north of uh, these guys from uh, 1 and try and head further into the town from that direction. All right, yeah, we also have uh, enemy infantry in the contact G1138 as well. One automatic rifle, positive. What are you guys up to? Pony with the great call-outs, the great communication of the chain of command here. The smoke's deployed, and elements are moving. And limbs throws a grenade? That had to have been limbs, right? Okay. I wasn't sure. I got three knives left. Copy. I just have orders to that. We're not going to be able to peek if we got an AR. Alright, hold here, guys. Let's take a look and see this AR position. Don't get shot is still trying to pivot around this fence to his, uh, on the eastern, on the western side of the building here. He's looking for places to set up. Not really the best position here. He wants to get, like, a little bit further out. Like, but the problem is, the moment he does that, he's gonna get popped. And Liberal Pundit. Oh, looks like Don't Get Shot found a place to set up. No, he doesn't. He's just gonna fire from the shoulder there. I heard a single mortar land. Shots are coming in towards the building here. Ooh, Liberal just killed Madigal, I think. I think Liberal just caught Madigal through the window. NSA Spy is going to come back over there for a second and try to come on. Even eyes and Salty Potato got to get a move on. But so far, more than half the squad has slipped through to the forest in the west. Russia making some great progress here. Let's go over to the west or the east side of the map. Silent has uh, the rest of his squad pushing into a militia position. Beef Baby has got himself set up here. And the Russians, all they can do is just crawl for actual defilade. Beef Baby's got himself deployed in a position that's elevated. And he's locked this sector down. Brown's even coming in further east on Freedom Fighter. The suppression continues, but Round's coming further east here. And Freedom Fighter goes down. I think that was music from the window. And look at this little position. Look at this little position here. That's a farm. 
way over there in Nidia 12-4. I mean, oof. And there's still more elements maneuvering out here for militia. Russia are getting close to the actual objective, but the problem is, like, where do they go from here? The score right now, 9 kills Russia, 16 kills Militia. It's not good. Looks like some of these mortars may be getting results here, question mark. Russians move it in. The, looks like the end result here, don't get shot in Alito 6. Elite bleeds out, and Elite gets grenaded. Great thinking here by this Russian force trying to get in. Getting closer, and they got pretty- they're getting pretty close here. Daniel's still bleeding, but they're moving straight towards the, uh, building with the radio in it. We need smoke mortars on the objective. Call in here. Outlaw is gonna get healed by Daniel. And, um... It looks like the guy's- Shots coming out. in. And there's an HMG, guess what? Raptor Force has an HMG on the other side of that Hesco wall. Oh my gosh, what a great shot! One goes down. Unfortunate. And Ronan's still bleeding. Yep, though he gets stabilized there. Great awareness by Demon Iron. Demon Iron taking more shots. There goes uh, Alex5000. Taking shots at Ronan, right over the shoulder, in the shoulder the second time there. The Russians trying to... Well, this guy is taking out like four people. Atomic Peach has eyes in this direction. What was that? A rocket hit the razor wire? Was that a rocket? Wow. Oh, uh, where's squad one? Oh, they're trying to cross the brain train bridge. Three people are locking that down for them. Uh, looks like enemies dead inside as the HMG decides, Oh, hey, I could shoot through the building. Uh, well, maybe not the HMG, but other people definitely decided they could shoot through the building. Look at this insanity right now. We're going to take a look. West is facing the top of your screen right now for a reference here. Pony's got a squad. We got about a fire team left in the uh, the the uh, the metal slat roof, and the normal roof just looks like he's got uh, what is that name in there? Sessa. Smoke's coming out from Russians. Godzilla Pro. The 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 Dishka is getting blocked off again. Pony's crawling up on this. Uh, Pony's gonna dig the, uh, oh, okay, he's digging the razor wire in front of the HESCO, causes the gunner to get off the gun. So I guess they're gonna come up and over this, uh, the HESCO wall here? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of frags over these walls if we're gonna get inside. I don't know if you can tell, but, oh my gosh, the, the outline actually works? Amazing. These guys right here in the foreground. Godzilla Pro, the squad lead, is actually holding this compound. He's got about a fire team with him. Pony's got about a fire team with him. We're continuing to uh, move forward here. Silence fire team, remaining force, is right behind Pony here. And then there's a reserve force coming across the river right now. As all the Russian mortars are gone. About most of the remaining... Uh, uh, militia force are here defending somewhere around this village. Ponies crawled into the field here. This is some nasty razor wire placement. Although, this actually really helps the Russians trying to get in here. I mean, think about it. All the Russians have to do is get to this wall and they can breach from here. Gives the militia much less time to react. Although Pony, Raptor Force is going to take shots at Pony. 
We're right on pony water. Right. And oof. Raptor Force taking a look at the right time. Gets pony. I just called Chief and he said this isn't it. And I think the Russians are now realizing there are there is no radio Only here. Mr. D. Uh, yeah, sure. Or we could wait for three. Yeah, double wait. But I don't think that they're, they're gonna make it to us. That's the issue. Russians trying to throw grenades towards this direction. Um, go around the left here. Doesn't look like two has I ain't jinx anyone, man. I'm, down. I'm here to watch. Expert uh, platoon lead for the Russians. Is uh, actually up here on the front line. Got a frag left. Try to underhand. It. It's kind of a cool position because, I mean, how do the how do the militia get out of this compound except through him right now? So he's holding the only. Oh, it looks like Demon Nine went down, or maybe I missed that. Expert tries to come into the compound and gets shot by a Boogie. It's definitely a dirty angle. It's kind of nuts. I mean, think about it. You gotta shoot through sandbags like this to see Boogie. Pay your money, man. Watch out. You can see Boogie. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's got an AR bipodded on the oil drum wall. And Daniel just went down. I think that was Daniel went down. Yeah. Uh, get a reset on positions here. We're getting close to the end of the round. There's a lot of militia left, but Russia kind of, you know, they're holding on with kills. 16 kills for Russia, 23 kills for Mill. Without any armored assets for either team now, it just comes down to who can clear what better. Thanks, Nad. Appreciate it. Watch this for Sot Slag. Are you taking basic or something? Or, uh... Speaking of, um, keep checking the calendar for basic slots, guys. If you are interested in participating in these events in squad, you definitely want to keep checking that calendar every day for uh, any basic SOT courses to be posted. Once you get, uh, once you get basic SOTT under your belt, that's when you can start participating in these events. Meanwhile, the main the side compound here is Sessa still up. That's a crazy position, actually. He's crawled all the way over there. Okay. Uh oh, Money Man got shot. Good shit. Oh, Lima Bean got killed. Look at that. Unfortunate. What a shot, though. I didn't get to I didn't get the right angle to shoot at it, but. Unfortunate. Silent tries to throw a grenade in. He knows there's two guys here. Boogie might actually have a shot at him, but Silent comes back to the wall. Watching that entrance. Oh, is Silent gonna try to get up and over? I think the wall may be a little bit too high for him. So Silent's gonna hold. Yeah, I think the wall is a little bit too high. For him by himself. He's in this corner on the other side of me. Nice to me. He's on me. Here, I'm looking at him right now. He's in here. He's got his AR up. He's crawling around. And There's Silent can hear lap. Raptor Force. Rocket's I'm coming out as Squad Rocket. 1. Throw a frag in here if you can. Starts to uh, come back in. And Modern Death gonna throw a frag in. Raptor Force runs away. That definitely would have clipped him, but Raptor Force finds a way to get clear. And Silent hits Raptor through the hole. Rockets are flying to our uh, north here. What's the story? 
Um, he didn't die, I shot him. One is, uh, starting to close around. Did we put a frag on him? There's still people guarding the train yeah, bridge for militia up north. This is there. nuts. Yo, there's somebody inside the fucking house as well. In that house? Like... Oh, this guy's still here. Can we use the dish again? And looks like... Fuck. Not enough Don't of an opening the there drink. for to get at to get at Raptor Four to get at Raptor Force and Boogie there. Cessna's got this weird position. It's actually kind of a nuts position. Boogie spraying at Silent. Silent gets hit. Doesn't look like anything else happening here. Rockets are flying up here to the north. What is going on? They're just throwing rockets at walls. I'm gonna go back over here, where I missed Raptor Force getting killed, as Silent comes in and breaches. Looks like Money and Pipe Funk might have had something to do with that. And Boogie... Copy. Heal him up. Oh, Boogie's actually dead too. Oh, and Sessa is now switched to watching the different hallway here. No, he's laying prone. Got Hang tight, hang Ooh, what a shot. Someone died. Got him. I got him, I got yeah, him. Good thinking there. Nice and, uh, nice and slow. No, thinking uh, about it. Just through the windows. Don't, not inside of it. Alright. Um... <clears throat> Russia pulling it back, guys. 22 Go kills for there. Russia. 25 kills for Mill. Russia cleaning house and look at not an NSA, NSA spies right outside the radio. And guess what? Russia have cleared all the contacts south of the radio. So looks like it is not an NSA spy taking a shot at uh, or two at nuclear. One hit as he's running, not able to put any more on them. So nuclear might have a chance to uh, bandage and stabilize there. It looks like he's looted a lot of life there. NSA Spy gets killed by Atomic Peach, though. Great angle from him. He's got the double tall, uh... He's got the double tall... Sandbag right here. He's not getting shot from the west. And he's locked down... Pretty much the one direction they could be coming from. Uh, Russians, on the other hand... Bartok just went up and over the wall. This building I'm by. There's people in this. Is yeah, I'm trying to look for money. Keep watching. I'm gonna I wonder if. Russia's taking shots here. Peach got killed. Razor got out of the building. So he was in the building watching everything, but now he's not anymore. Someone said they were going to bleed out. Money. Oh, sure. Money Man, I think, is out of bandages. So, Money Man is going to have to make it work worthwhile. And it looks like Bartok might be soon on the radio position. Razor puts another couple bullets into Money Man through the, f through the hole in the fence and able to get it down. Russians have secured the radio. Guys, that's nuts. Russia was down like a squad and a half. Before they started pushing the southern side of this compound. Razor comes back in. He's doing nothing but bleeding. He's bleeding all over the place. Silent comes in right after and clears up Razor. And now Silent has to bandage. Silent getting pretty close to down there. Oh, and another Russian comes in, or another mill comes in. Silent finishes bandaging, but isn't able to land a shot on Osku. Osku comes in and clears it. Man, it's just like, you know... It's like hot potato about this, uh... About this radio right now. I think Pipe Funk just died there to a militia right outside. Militia collapsing back on this objective. Everyone in the north is coming back down. This is where... Russia may not be able to hold out, and I believe that's the case. 31 kills for Mill, 25 kills for Russia. Uh, K9 and Modern Death are east across the street in this building. 
So that just happened. K9 still across the streets of the east. Kills Garrett for looking in his general direction. I'd rather Scott his champ is still up too, but he's got problems of his own to deal with. If he moves out here, uh, Dick's Folk may be spotting him. Uh, I don't know about that actually. K9's gonna try to throw a grenade in here, and nope, he hits the doorpost. But he kills Asku! Wow! So the grenade landed like in the porch, right here, and Asku died trying to peek the corner from the left from the left hand side there. Unfortunate. So the building is clear. K9 could uh, win this. Your nightmare in Phoenix throwing GLs over here. Phoenix with the GL may be the only hope to keep Russians or keep the militia from reinforcing this point. Although there's plenty of Russians all the plenty of militia all over the place. And K9 falls off the radio. Huh? Um Why would he not, uh... Scott says you got good health. Bloody oh, grenades, I'm okay. really low in health. I think we're down to four Russians left. Your nightmare... has pushed a... has pushed a fire team sized force off this, uh, position between him and Phoenix. That's kinda nuts, man. I only have a pistol left, because I only have red mags. Wow. I have two magazines. K9 and right, Rather Scott's chap on, on, like, zero ammo, and Revy yeah. is around the corner here. Push, stop pushing. Yellow smoke is 329. Oh, west, look at this. Do you want me to snap the building even. windows off? Woo! That's funny. Oh. Revy had them both dead to rights, kills rather Scottish chap, can't turn fast enough for K9 to pistol him in the face at about 20 yards. Mark S cleans up K9. And the Russians now have no one left on the point. It all comes down to Phoenix and your nightmare. Your nightmare. Able to kill one here. Uh oh, Phoenix just got his head taken off. Fucking fuck! Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! Terrible and shot. your nightmare now knows he's talking yeah, to the stream. I'm toxic. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Keep the toxicity in check, my dude. <sighs> He's not really being toxic, though. Looks like he's out of AR. He's switching to pistol. Oof. That hurts. So, what? He's got th uh, three mags. All right. Maybe four. Come on. To clear out the radio. He's got to hit headshots. So he's got to go run around here and find himself the best way to approach, which is... Um, he's going to go... <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go way out of his way here. Uh, Mark S. Mark S. Definitely oh, saw him though. I think is that Mark or someone else? Uh, but the militia know he's here, and I think that was probably Nightmare's last bandage. And he's getting lit up here at range. Oh, now you see me, huh? Fuck you. That's the AR from up top of the hill, way on out there, zero two. I think that was music. I can't see shit, it's so dark. I mean, I could just turn everything off, but... That's the problem.
Can't see. I can turn off all the markers, or one team's markers, but I can't turn off the spectator markers. We'll go in here with your nightmare. Oh, trying to be as tactical as he could. Get shot up through the window by snowfall. And that will do it for round one. GG. Here we that go. Was Volume in the game now. Brilliantly played route. There was a couple of hiccups there. Most of them were caused by Ronin, but that's okay. He learned his lesson. What? Uh, huh. Everyone else? Okay, especially Harv. Harv squad. Harv is a squad leader. Harv was in his uh, first time as an SL here in squad Good after job. one life events, and Harv did brilliantly. Hell yeah, uh, almost Harv. almost no complaints yeah, there, and it, a lot of that has to do with the good rifleman he had as well, uh, especially Music Q. Uh, I don't know who else was in the squad, but probably no one relevant. Um, Sebi. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow, like spicy. Uh, so, have to carry our every plan time. this time. All right, our plan this time is gonna be Poor different, Sebi. a little bit different. But we're gonna use vehicles this time. They're, they use mortars. We're gonna use vehicles. We're gonna stack up. We're pretty much gonna go taking this path. Stack up on the bridge. Evan's squad is gonna cross the river, take the radio tower, make sure the area on the east side of the river is clear for the MTLBs. The MTLBs will be manned by Ronin and Godzilla. One will be here, one will probably be somewhere around here. They're gonna be screening east, make sure Evan's squad is uh, good. Once the bridge is secured, they're going to push east across the river, taking this path, and they're going to be going down the Julia and Kilo columns. Squad 3, that is Harv squad, they're... Oh, I should probably pick something better than that. They're going to be on the AR mark on the peninsula. They're going to be on the bunkers or around the bunkers looking south, southwest, southeast, basically the whole southern arc, making sure that the enemy can't do anything to us, making sure the enemy's heads are pinned down, they just need to be careful because the rocks immediately south of them offer a, a vantage point for the enemy to utilize. And uh, rocks here at uh, India 10 on, 4. So, from. Basically, so is what he's be careful about. there. Once we get across the river, uh, we're just going to move down the Juliet Kilo columns. Infantry out front, then vehicle supporting. And after that, the idea is to essentially sweep through this way. Does that make sense? Anyone have any questions? I love the plan. <laughs> and we're live. We're gonna follow Russia as they get themselves deployed here. They're gonna deploy to the north. Of course, MTLB's slow. Vehicles have to wait fast. I say they're gonna deploy to the north, but this guy, oh, okay. So they're going to turn up the uh, railroad tracks. Makes a lot of sense. It is off-road, so you see the you can see the truck already starting to move slower. Why didn't they just cut across here? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yo, what's going on? Militia are throwing a squad and the vehicles across the river. Hold up. This is this is some aggressive play from Militia right now. And why am I going so slow? I'm not going so slow. Okay. It just appears it just looks like I'm going so Look at this. Oh my god. So, um Militia are throwing a squad across the river. And both of their technicals. And they're throwing us... They have a transport south that's taking a squad to the south... To the southern map border. We're going to take a look at this uh, militia position real quick.
and militia moving out. I guess they're gonna get into the forest here. No, they want this. They want the fort's position here. Oh man. Because Russia, we're going to throw a squad over here. Where did those technicals go? Oh my lord. God and, God and Rona, you guys are going to want to avoid the train tracks after a minute. Here. Gonna cut okay, so we got Russian the troops Rona dismounting. Cut. Russia, there's like two squads worth dismounting here out of the first transport. Uh, let me just pull up this map and make it over here. Uh, guess what? Pony has a full squad to the north in the two technicals. That's actually nuts, man. Like, the ultimate end around play, right? The southern, the southern push that we saw round one was nice and all, right? So what you want to call it? Or turn off name tags for a little bit, because oh, yeah, nothing's really understand. happening. The southern end around push was, you know, an obvious play, because it's the map border, the map border, else. sometimes there's hills there, up, um, you know, go, go that sort of thing. Uh, and this map is particularly hilly once you get um, a little bit up on land. It's still hilly compared to a lot of other maps. Um, our incoming screamer. <laughs> the screamer. Oh, he was screaming. Shots fired. Oh, shots scream fired. Shots fired. Oh, shots fired. Yes, I am. He was like always screaming. What? Okay, let's just keep some space in this. Right. I couldn't tell if he was role playing really hard or if he was actually freaking out. No, he was actually freaking out. I'm pretty sure. Dismount entry here, and we'll get the vehicles in position. Take the game away, serious. Okay, once we get up on this uh, yeah, hill, though, let's get the battle serious. comps, guys. He, he, yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, though, that was pretty cool. Okay. Great. Great time. I don't know who they're talking about there, but if they're talking about me, funny. Uh, guess who's in the fortifications at the end of this peninsula? It's Russia. Yeah. Oh, or it's militia, rather. Guess what? Russian ND to the south, though. Oof. Jesus. <laughs> I, you can imagine how frustrated I was getting. Man, be wise. I can see radio tower. I don't see any of that one. Copy. That should be clear for you. So, just to recap of the plan. One squad was going towards the radio tower here in Hotel 73, Hotel our uh, India 71. And one and the rest of the squads are going to push across this bridge here at India 844. But there is an entire squad living right where Remember looks like Harv is going to go. The bridge the MTLB. yep, MTLBs it. are following this uh this uh, formation here. They're starting to push more southeast now. The construction continues at the militia fob. And also, don't forget, there is a squad operating in the south, somewhere in the Echo Fox area. These guys pushed out really aggressively. Um, I think way more aggressively than the guys in the north did. Usually, It'd be safer to hold this hill right here. Even this hill right here. But four is so spread out. It's actually kind of brilliant. They're going to get in contact real soon here, though. As three squad has crossed this road. Return name tags on here. Garrett and Sebi. Kind of point. Someone was messing with the surrender. You're so. Thank God I'm not in your fire team. So yeah, just ignore, <laughs> just ignore that. It's just going to be easier for everyone to see. Um, because this squad is moving up pretty, pretty boldly. And they don't have eyes on anything. And that's because the militia here aren't peeking 
one bit. Maybe Free Stalker. Let's do it. And Free Stalker might have an eye on here. Maybe Jack. Jack's got a really sweet position here. Russians are getting to the uh, to this low wall right here. You can see Sebi. And Jack's going to take a shot at Sebi very soon. <laughs> that just looks funny. Alright, Jack, light him up. Three, two, one. Okay, he's in the open now. And Jack missed a couple shots there. And now Jack getting all of the fire returned on him. He gets hit and he's climbed into the corner here. Uh, now since uh, Russia went mechanized, they don't get GLs in every squad, so... But they stu do still have RPGs, so someone can still reach out and touch someone by in a little bit of dead space here, and that's exactly what happened. Great use of the frag rocket there. Kills Jack. Oh, 800. Sloth FTL. Some shots taken in this direction. Maybe Free Stalker as well. Yeah, maybe Free Stalker got uh, got spotted in the window here. Did uh, NTLB get hit? Is that what I heard? Negative. Mine didn't. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Sloth taking some more shots here. Hit Slev. And it looks yeah, like D-Leak and Doobiescu got good. spotted here. Maybe he got spotted by, uh, 2 squad. Is this game mode available to everyone? Or is cam mode available to everyone? No. Uh, this is... Technically it's called an admin cam. And it's locked down by rules on the server. So, um, it's like the moderation stuff, like the broadcasting things. Like in some servers, you see the bot with the red text up at the top, or the yellow text rather. It's one of the it's one of those types of rules. Uh, Harv Squad, nice use of some envelope moving here, but they're soon to be found out by these militia way to the south here. This is wide open, um, except for this little island in the middle here, which really ain't much to speak about. There is some concealment here that might actually block them off, but at a certain point, the Russians are gonna get shot up pretty, pretty harshly here, and there's not really gonna be anything to really save them aside from some of these trees. Behind you, nuclear. I don't know how yep. I am on that grid. This. And looks like knee holes, Gregots. These guys are actually shooting now. I'm gonna throw a nade over the wall. They're gonna work toward. They're working to clear out uh, Free Stalker here. Right side of this wall. Ooh, grenade. Almost hits Sloth. Sloth gets kind of lucky there. I'm on the wall. On the wall. Sloth is gonna. I guess they're gonna let the Russians come into the compound. They're trying to hold this off position. Don't Cooper takes some shots at Sloth. Oh, no, okay. Forces him to go back inside. Nuclear Potato has Sloth's number though, peeking the doorway. And uh, the last one here is Free Stalker. Free Stalker. Kuba's taking some shots at him. Get shot from behind by Sevi. That just looks goofy, man. I-10-4-8. So, uh, yep, this fire team's been called out. Looks like, uh, Militia are sending a squad to reinforce the north here. Why am I in full uh, auto? Northern, there? I get it. Yeah. Kuba, careful. Yeah, I saw this guy. Uh, Ooh, Doobiescu got shot up. So now it's just D-League over here. The squad leader's by himself. 
the rest of his fire team. He's still getting shot too. Wow. That's actually kind of impressive shooting there by nuclear Cuba. Maybe not nuclear right now. This looks like he's got binox out, but. George, once I once I get positioned up here, you want me moving or holding? Uh, Ooh, Sebi got killed. Really? I wasn't expecting that at that range. It goes to show you. I'm trying to find some information, and lo and behold. Things happen, man. Speaking of things happening, Russia have two squads across the river now. They're going to move over to that uh, Juliet Kilo file. They're going to start heading south here. Four is going to probably take this Juliet file. And one takes the Kilo file. Dealey continuously trying to get some more kills here. He's got Kuba and Nuclear Potato. Har, we're going to keep uh, Godzilla's MTLB back to help Sort of stuck you. behind that small wall. Copy that. Uh, we are still taking contact what? from our east and our south. Pony squad on foot is gonna go right in the backside of command. There's an MTLB here. The MTLB is just not even looking this direction. Let's make sure they don't bust through all their fucking ammo. There we go, Razor's dead. Pony takes out Razor. Dorf crawling up the hill. He gets shot. He gets killed. And there goes Platoon Command down for Russia. Alright, boys. We're continuing on your route. And the MTLB now repositioning. You can see Boogie on the gun. They got it turned around. He's starting to fire over here. What a great maneuver. Although... Pony didn't wait for a lat to get in position to take a shot there, but Demon Iron has definitely loaded AT. The MTLB has turned towards now, though, so... Boogie is just scanning. Demon's looking for a shot here. This could actually be a really good shot. He's just got to pick a. He's just got to pick a side of the building to come out on. Oh, uh, we're currently engaging the. Oh, uh, uh, looks like Nukem. All right, how many? Oh, uh, we're unsure right now. All right, four. Continue on your uh, plan. Nukem kind of got himself pushed Once out. We start doing the rap it's actually kind of weird. I didn't expect this squad to still be here. Some of them across the river, but not everyone. There's a fire team behind. You're going to be crossing the river and going straight south. And Russia still keeping their uh, MTLB. One of their MTLBs on the west side of the river. Nuke's going to go ahead and come off this. And Demon 9's going to fall back. Okay, so he's not going to try to take a shot at the MTLB. Did Pony die? No, Pony's still here. They're gonna go back and get the technicals. And Nuke dies to the MTLB. Unfortunate, but... You gotta- I, you gotta wonder... Where is... You gotta wonder if you're Russia and you just got your command killed, you lost someone else behind you. But you don't know how strong the force is back here. The only commit, the only radio I've heard is that there's a fire team behind us. That's the only thing of size I heard discussed on the radio for Russia. So you gotta wonder, like, what's the next move? Be advised, I got people still south of me. And it looks like yeah, the move yeah, is continue the plan. Your nightmare, Bartok Warrior. Bartok, of course, a lat. Actually, yeah, Bartok's a lat. So it looks like I don't see a hat anywhere. So maybe uh, Militia have gone with two MMGs. Although I haven't seen MMGs either. So the guys look like they're starting to bug out. Wait, maybe there's a hat here. Northwest side of the village. 
Maybe there's a hat in the village that's still, uh, that's still guarding it. Yeah, go follow them. Nope, it's there's two MMGs. Your Nightmare's got an MMG. My squad and squad four will be hitting it from the northeast, east. And the MTLB moving out the towards the bridge. Bartok's making a run for it. MTLB gonna go ahead and uh, come up here. What was that? That was weird. It sounded like, um... Triple A fire. Four, how are you doing? And Russians just posturing here. Pony and Demon Iron hear the MTLB and they're making a beeline straight south using the elevation to hide them. The rest of their guys looks like, I guess they're going to fall back to the, um, the vehicles. Bartonizers, Bertonizer rather, is in a vehicle. Pony's over here going straight for the MTLB and Demon Iron's right behind him. They may have, they may have missed their opportunity for a rear on latch shot for this MTLB. Demon Iron is still running after it. Bartok moved a little bit to his uh, northwest, and he's still trying to find a decent position on top of this hill. Don't get shot, and Boogie have stopped their MTLB. At this point, Demon Iron's about a hundred meters away. Right now, three, three is holding. Everyone else is moving. The MTLB is still proceeding west. If they get lucky at the top of this hill, they might be able to get a long distance shot on it. Although the MTLB has found a ditch. Boogie's not really looking behind him right now either. MTLB's crossing in the field. Demon 9's gonna take a shot at it from the side. Short. So these, the, I, I guess they're thinking it was an SPG. Boogie's taking some shots here. Eh, maybe Pony. Pony's <laughs> prone in the field now. SPG and the Dishka are moving north. Pony's still moving along here. Uh, where's Demon Iron? Does he have any more AT? Yes, he does. MTLB stood still there for a second. Now the MTLB's gonna move again. Is he gonna take another shot at this? Uh, nope. Defilade. So, it doesn't look like Burton Eyes, or, sorry, um, Demon Iron is going to have a shot at this until he gets closer. Kind of smart thinking by the MTLB. I think, you know, I think he moved here because... You know what? Should we just push the rocket, Teggy? Yeah, uh, go northwest. Wait, is our rocket techie? I thought it was an SPG. Russians still clearing east of the objective. One squad is making a far east push. They're gonna start moving southwest, west now. And Evan is taking over command, so that's why he's about 400 meters away from his troops. MTLB slowly making progress north here, and Demon Iron, in pursuit of the MTLB, could get a really crucial rear end shot here. I've been spotted by an SO. All right, up on those white rocks. Uh oh. Looks like Ronin's squad got spotted to us, uh, west southwest. 
still long distance engagements here. Yeah. MTLB is still not. Uh-oh, let me tell me to get back up in the field. Okay, Pony's gotten hit by the gun. And Pony gets cleared. Did Boogie see the second guy? I don't think Boogie saw Demon Iron. Demon Iron at the bottom of the screen here next to the compass. He's just lined in the field. Hoping the MTLB doesn't roll over towards them. The vehicles come back. They're trying to My bait the MTLB. South, and they are falling back. Nice. Our is engaged with, uh, Vitry to their east. Oh, out. the yeah, logic, the tentacles get oh, shot up. Demon 9. Front armor hit. Grunt and Groot die, so one of the technicals is dead. The MTLB gets hit. Question mark, is the engine got hit? Did the engine get hit there? Don't get shot, gets out and runs away. I don't think Demon 9 has any more AT on him. So he's crawling to try to catch up with everyone else. Daniel and Burtonizer are uh, in a technical over here. I'm trying to figure out which one they're in. No, they're in two different technicals. No, they're in the same one. It's the Dishka. Russians still making progress. Now about coming up on 600 meters away from the FOB. So we are going to stop watching this and start watching the main attack here very soon. 11 kills for Russia, 3 kills for Mill. And Demon 9 gets shot up as he crawls out of the field. Oh, the MTLB was disabled. So the latch shot from Demon 9 actually disables the MTLB engine. And don't get shot, now going to repair that thing. So it should be getting up back up to speed, but not going to be able to repair the damage that has been done otherwise. And now with that, we're going to take a look and get over here towards Soloniki. Soloniki defense, about a squad's worth in and around. One squad directly north. Oh, Russia actually threw a buddy team back into f trying to defend the uh, Dishka there. The Dishka's taking shots at uh, some folks. Oh, would you look at this? Militia are throwing a squad east blindly, maybe. Or no, this is the squad that actually saw Ronan, I believe. See anything they can engage, okay? It's getting pretty interesting, I gotta say. The MTLB is also over here too, so maybe they're hunting the MTLB more than they're hunting the infantry. I think they heard the MTLB, so they're gonna run back. Shots at range here from militia. Uh, yeah, so maybe they're taking shots at some of the base of fire guys over here next to the train bridge. Demon Eyes is set up with an AR. Taking shots at old geezer here along next to Viper 13 way off in the distance. Old geezer doesn't have cover. So they're going to throw some more bullets at him. Old Geezer gets hit, but he's not bleeding, I don't think. Even on his repositions to get some more shots. And Old Geezer is trying to crawl away now. And he gets split up as he's running away. And 
Okay, more suppression goes out here. And in the south, maybe some contact. Squad 4 ran into the uh, opposing number. Sort of off, uh, off balance there. Russians have actually pushed in further east than D-Leak with his fire team. And Nihols continues continue yeah, pushing uh, uh, with his squad lead. I guess they are hunting the MTLB. That's going to be All Beef right. Baby and Patrick Star, I think. Yep, Beef Baby on the gun. They're pushing towards the MTLB. That's kind of a risky play. A fire team going straight into a squad. Having a mic going to the MTLB to Golf 1046. Yeah, that's fine. Walk. Just I want you can work anywhere on those rocks. You just need to be a distraction. Got it. Ooh, kind of moving in the open here. That's kind of oof. Cuz the Russians might be able to see them. Uh oh, looks like the Dishka. And there goes the Dishka gunner, the Dishka driver, got shot up. So both technicals now down for militia. Technical down, technical down. Yeah. Technically, the technical is still up. It's just not manned anymore. It's 15 kills for Russia, 6 kills for Mill. Oh man, this could be kind of be set up for a perfect long distance latch shot here, but I wonder if Beef Baby sees these guys in the distance here. It's kind of a long ask. He is kind of looking in this direction though, and you can see Nihol's on top of that little small hill there. I guarantee you, they have eyes on this. Nihol's actually stands up. MTLB is going to move forward here. And in this defilade, I don't think he's going to be hit. MTLB moving straight towards him, though, so a front hit maybe in the near future here for this MTLB. Now, I might not be able to see all of the forces, but it looks like Militia have largely pulled back to Solininki aside from this fire team sized force that's gotten into the farm. Sort of like the southeast edge of the farm here. I think they're hunting the MTLB more than anything. Both MTLBs still up from Russia. Matter of fact, the north MTLB is ferrying some folks around. They're going to try to swing west uh, along the western coastline here. There's no bridge to cross for this MTLB. But what the MTLB can do is find a perch and just throw rounds into the forest at suspected enemy movement. So hurry up too. And uh, the MTLB getting closer here. It's sort of screening for the uh, for its infantry squad mates to its northwest now. Nihols has actually stood up. He's firing a rocket. Yeah. It's not tracked, but that's some major damage on the MTLB there. And looks like the engine's still okay too. I haven't seen the turret move though. It looks south southwest. No, okay, so maybe the turret's okay. Maybe it's just pure hole hit there for the MTLB. That's oof, though. That was a side shot from the uh, RPG. Unable to track the MTLB, though. And command telling this MTLB to disengage. 
Uh, these guys are actually already ahead of them. They're running away the other direction. This fire team is actually still nuts, though. They're the closest to the objective right now. It's kind of brilliant. Someone just got killed at distance. Maybe the MTLB is engaging militia forces on the point. That seems to be the case. Your nightmare is actually turned focus to the west. That's unfortunate because he has an MMG and look who's coming over to the hill to his southeast. Three, once you take those rocks, an entire take squad. Where'd he go? Copy. I was just about ready to tell you. Uh, we oh, we just found a different position. Your nightmare is now perched here. You can bet once he, if he sees anyone, he's going to start shooting. Phoenix is taking some shots. Phoenix actually receiving rounds from the squad to his southeast. Looks like Limbs and Ronan may have taken some shots back at him. Oh, Bartok just died. Or Bartok died. Um, so that's another AT asset down for Militia. Unfortunate. They're not going to have much of a solution to deal with the MTLBs if they keep losing lats. Yeah, we're taking no fire from over here. Your nightmare is able to hit Peach at range. It's a nice shot. And rounds coming in causes your nightmare to break away. Phoenix going to add in some rounds in his direction. Phoenix about ready to run around on by a fire team. They're trying to, I guess they're still trying to go around the hill. They got another hill to climb before they're in line of sight of Phoenix. Phoenix holding position, making sure he's not getting shot from the left here. Um, they still got a little bit of uh, cover to go through. It looks like Lima Bean might be cresting this hill. Slev right behind him very shortly. Phoenix, seeing tracers come out, is just taking shots where he can. You can see him in the distance there. Peach got healed. Taking shots at limbs. Limbs goes prone. And Ronan now just running out in the open. Cross those guys and clear those rocks to uh, Godzilla's uh, east. I want to make sure he doesn't get lapped. And now rounds coming in from his east. Oh no, those are still rounds from his south. Garrett had a good opportunity to scan for Phoenix here. And three is actually... Yeah, this is three right here. So three has a squad across... Uh, spread out about around 300 meters here. Phoenix is going to try to reposition now. I mean, that's good. 52 of you guys watching on Twitch right now. Phoenix gets shot in the side and killed. Lima bean question mark? Mm, maybe not. Didn't sound like... No, maybe it was lima bean. Lima bean's got a pretty good shot on the position. We're going to take a look at the... Uh, Whoa! That's closer than I thought. What? What? Okay, first of all, look at this maze. Here comes a grenade. Two kills! Russian grenade comes out. Phoenix gets shot. Oh, a trade. Looks like Snowfall trades for Hacky, so... Three kills there, question mark? Silent's still bleeding out. Nice catch, Stuttering. I appreciate the lookout. There's just so much to look at. There's still a fire team east or west of the objective. Are they chasing Hawk? Eh. 
I guess I, th I wonder if these guys were just trying to clear out the contact that the MTLB reported. Oh no, they're not. Hawk is now running around behind. Oh man. Does he see? Did Hawk not see these guys? There we go. Hawk hits chicken in the side twice. Chicken goes down. Where was the other guy that was right next to him? Revy. Possible flank on the south to watch out. Near me? Near my guys. Revy versus Hawk at range here. The MTLB is still providing some pretty sporadic fire, and Revy is just pretty much holding position there. Uh, Russians over here in the southeast making some contact, but again, the guys at the farm, the guys they ignored, you say? are now p causing some problems for them. At least they have someone looking behind them. All right, once we get online, we're going to start uh, crushing the cell, pushing it. Yep, smoke it and push it. And we got a smoke and push order coming out here. Be moving up. Get him on, on the river. Tell him to get on Come the bridge. Hey, Boogie, now that we're in position. 21 kills for Russia, 9 kills for Mill. So, Mill's got about half strength now. Less than half strength. Look at this. Look at this angle that Russia have. Look at this front. Do you think you could push in from your spot, Harv? Uh, it's kind of open where I'm at right now. It is open okay, to the northeast here, but given the platoon's position right now, the only people that can really move is Harv's squad and Ronin's squad. Ronin's squad have to deal with more angles than Harv will. Harv has a better chance of surviving a straight-on push for the objective. Although, the other side of that coin is Harv pushing from the uh, northeast to the southwest has to push through the entire Russian force. Russians, uh, or sorry, Mill here in the compound throwing some shots to their south, southeast, or their east, southeast, rather. This is it. Keep pushing. Find a way to do it. And Godzilla Pro starting to push across the road. Look at this. Lib and a couple other guys have actually made it. Oh, look at this smoke and push, though. They've started to hide behind. They're hiding behind these. Uh, and RPGs coming out now, too. Elite threw a grenade. A little short, but he's just trying at this point. Oh, what a brilliant push through here. Alex 5000 leading the way for Patrick Star and Cole. And they're on an opposite wall here. Now, it's not the best position in the world, but it's a start. Grenade comes up and over. Not on target, though. And immediately throws down an ammo bag to get some more. Militia. Does your, does your nightmare see this? He does. He's trying to find... Yeah. He finds a place to deploy up, and he gets the kills there. Uh, now militia grenades are coming back through. Russians in the west have pushed in first. Majority of Harv squad, uh, looks like a fire team are now pushing in. He's keeping a base of fire element with him along with a medic. So that's kind of smart. Take this set of buildings over here. In, uh, they might the farm boys are coming back in from the south though. But majority of Russian forces now in assault mode. They're trying to close the distance between them and the next compound they have to take here. AR fire from Major Almormaltes. And he's taking some rounds in return. He gets shot. And gets into cover, but... The guys to his south are closing in pretty fast here. Kingan and Deathly are 
buddy team clearing through this uh, portion here. D leak, their squad lead along with their RPG is on the other side of the road. This is round two, so let's look. Great suppression by Major here, even though he is shooting a wall. It's a pretty good idea, though. Here comes a lot of smokes from Russia. Major with great suppression. And a lot more smokes coming in. Viper's actually kind of pushed in here. Um, he's in a building, but he doesn't really have much of a uh, way to look here. I heard an RPG go out. Doesn't look like it killed anyone. MTLB coming down the north road. Russians are spreading out here, trying to find a way in. Major gets shot in the back by a Kingan. And the Russian push. Lots of smokes here, but... Ooh, the MTLB. Matical hiding behind a um, concrete wall. Holy shit. Lip got caught out in the open there. He almost fucking ripped me, bro. Meanwhile, Russians with grenades. It's down to K9. Kills Oku, kills Elite. Uh oh. K9 reloading. Trades with Lima Bean. Lima Bean jumps over the wall. Uh oh, with frags coming in. The <laughs> FTLP is. Now they are fragging the MTLB. They still think dude's in here, I think. Shooting ghosts. Uh, this is getting close to the end of the second round. Russians have made a strong push in from the northeast here. They've knocked at the door in the southwest several times. But now it's um, now comes time to push this field to this from the uh, northeast to southwest here, and there's still a couple guys floating around. The MTLB made it into the compound. I don't think they have one lat left. Freedom Fighter is the only lat they have remaining, and the MTLB is sitting behind a Haskell wall. That's unfortunate. So militia have no answer to this MTLB. Wait, where is? Well, you are somewhat hurt. Let's make a run for it. Oh my god. Yeah. Where's Rune Squad going? MTLB now just destroying any infrastructure, any def any fortification they can find. Evan is north. So are these guys moving around? Oh, no, that's not the only light they have. Mill have a light on the hill to the southeast, and he's running around. Although I don't think he has any AT. Do we have any contacts anywhere right now? I guess Evan just wants a better position for his attack. Go down that road, left around this building. Now moving the MTLB out here. 
Could mean Freedom Fighter might have a shot here. Freedom Fire, the let on the ground. Has an RPG out. Shoots out. Looks like a rear shot. That might have hit. Let's take a look and see what that track. Nope. A side armor hit, but he's not but it's not dead. Second one. It's gone. Engine's down. It's get out, almost get out, out. Get out, get out. Don't get shot. Doesn't make it. Boogie makes it out, though. Freedom Fighter. Great hit. Great follow up shot, too. We need this radio. Yep, got that, too. Do you hear the radios? It's out there. And D Leak is, uh. Oh my. Caught Beef Baby out in the open. A fire team is the only thing standing between Ronan's squad here. And that's all the MTLBs that are mobile right now. The second one seems to have been abandoned. Hey, did anyone check the G1138 uh, building? This is what I'm just saying. And smokes. Push west. Get on the other side. Russians are getting cut down over here. Nuclear potatoes dead. It's just Music Harv. Boogie is actually running up on the the position. Boogie looks like he killed the lat that was next to your nightmare. All right. So every time I go away, something happens somewhere else. Atomic uh, looks like GM Pulo gets killed. I guess Lee, I guess Niels doesn't have any frags either. It's kind of a it's kind of a nutsy it's kind of a nutsy approach really. Oh my gosh, the, the numbers definitely favor Russia here, slightly. Militia have pulled it back to two is the difference now. Twenty eight kills for Russia, twenty six kills for militia. Uh, Russia, or sorry, Militia on about a squad size force left. Squad plus size force left. Mili uh, Russia, squad and a half. D Lake taking some shots here. He's in the defilated, he don't care. And the Russians that are in the town trying to find a different position in. Boogie looks like he went down in this building. Ooh, Kuba. That had to have been Kuba. Oh, nutty shot. Takes out the squad leader over here. Now Deathly Art forced to become squad leader of this element. Ronin's squad is stopped. All right, then push He's only got a fire team here and a fire team here, so... Oh, because the rest of his guys pushed north. He's going to go north around and push through the town again. So remember what I said earlier. The attack from here is da is more dangerous than attack from the northeast to southwest. But it's still the same sort of problem. Now, the attack pushed through made it, made it was successful enough because there wasn't not enough Russians or not enough militia up here to hold it off. Harvin music getting caught up, getting uh, shot up here. I don't know if I got him, I'm just trying to suppress him. Copy. Expert no, is I'm even on an HMG. <laughs> yeah, just stay safe. In the compound. Anyway, like I'm saying, the push across was strong because there wasn't enough militia here to hold it off. The long-term play would have been attacked from northeast to southwest because it's the smallest number of Russians in or militia in front of you at all times. The problem is you just got to have a lot of people pushing from that direction. And what, what happened, well, apparently what happened was Ronin's squad fell off, came over to the east, and messed up. Harv just died on the uh, west end of the town. Guys up here in this forest. I can't. 
take a look at uh, position from your nightmares perspective. Look at this. He's snug as a bug. He's got himself sandbags galore. An MG. And he's looking for he's looking for Russians to push on out. Ronin's squad now coming back around. Freedom, that was an awesome, uh, that was an awesome shot follow-up on, uh, oh, look at that. Your nightmare, uh, has to reload, runs out of ammo in his belt as the Russians push up on the hilltop. That's the objective. Now, over here, Cole and Beef Baby, um, are in the west. The Western Forest. Is there someone here? Hawk! Actually watching to the uh, north here. This is kind of a dicey situation. Oh, Hawk's not even looking this direction! Will Razor, well, uh, will Cole and Beef Baby see this? Now Hawk is looking back here. He's scanning around. He doesn't know where the enemy's coming from. Here's a bunch of shots to his, uh, east. <laughs> Great spread out there. Uh. Oh, here comes Beef Baby. Pushing straight up on Hawk. Beef, come on. I'm pulling back. <sighs> Beef. At least Cole followed up with the trade. You can call it a trade. Rounds coming in towards the uh, militia compound. As Russians still trying to posture in here. Uh, 30 kills for Russia, 28 kills for Mill. Russian forces gonna throw more to the northwestern forest here. One. Get wrecked. Oh, wow. Your nightmare goes down. They're south in like a little bunker, sandbags. Tap to. I'm looking. Great that shot, Evan. Maybe, you know what? It could be. He had a helmet on. Awesome shot there. Another loss from for Militia. Militia still have three guys outside the build, outside the compound, too. Guys. This is nuts. We're at Was squad size side level the, or more or less the for both teams. No, no, the guy that you killed. He was like 204. I think he was like there's the the field, six militia left. Sandbag. Three on the point, three off the uh, point. That's the MG. 100% the MG. Good job. Yeah. What is Kuba doing over here? He's got Slev with him. I think they're trying to sweep for this contact in the east. Uh, I can't see shit. We'll be able to suppress part of the compound for you. These guys are still here, just sitting here. I'm just gonna say my specialty isn't open compounds, it's more so basic. Slev got hit question mark? I don't know. Kuba okay. looking for more kills here. Deathly Arc. Just peeking around the top of that hill. I don't know if Kuba's right, gonna be able to see him. And here we go. Okay. So, Ronan's got a fire team. He's gonna push west to east. Money Man is redeploying over here to the west. Not enough militia forces on this point. Money Man looking for a place to... Money Man is... Not looking west. Start suppressing it now. Okay, 
And here comes suppression. From the northeast element. Music. Adding in some AR fire here. Money Man suppressing in return. But I imagine he won't be alive for long. Frag comes in. And Money Man is dead. There's now two militia on the point. Keep yeah, move now. We're at it. We're getting out of ammo. Hurry up. It's just Salty Potato and Xbit on the point now. Five militia remain. Nades up over the wall. Nades up over and here the comes... Wall. Here comes, uh... uh Ronin's squad. Frag's coming in and smokes. Militia trying to trying to run back to the base. Some great walls here stopping some grenades from doing a lot of damage. Deathly Art and Nihol is trying to come back. It's still two militia on the point. And I'm not sure what Xbit's trying to hold here. Maybe he's can he see through that sandbag? He's got a he's got a firing little firing port. Right, I think close on the fence. No, I didn't want to jump in. Ronan didn't want to jump in, but he did it and he killed Salty Potato. Unfortunate. For Salty Potato there. All the smokes for Russia now obscuring the last remaining squatty here. Um Oh, lol, everyone else down here died. Oof. So it's just Xbit now. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, bro. South, remember, they're still south. Yeah, yeah. You uh, can no come one. in on the southeast corner. You can jump the wall. No one else is corner. here now. It's so it's south. just it's Xbit. Xbit taking some shots building. here. There goes right. limbs. The I think it's a far one. Music wants the pistols. Up, music? Let's do this, bro. Expert hit Cole. I'm bandaged. Expert down to pistol? Alright, don't I'm commit to anything crazy yet, guys. Music tried to jump over Drop the uh, can, sandbags, I and I believe that's going to be GG. Pop one. Oh, we're good. Let's Hi. go. Wow. What a way to end it.